Alrighty, I was about to do uh, another video where I'm just playing a song. I was going to do um, Titanic, the portrait, which is pretty much my heart will go on, but slight difference. <laughs> I was going to, I was just going to do that video, but then I realized maybe somebody wants to know any kind of tips and tricks for recording um, directly from this to like a computer to get a good sound. And I'm not talking MIDI. The way I like to do it, I like to record first with the keyboard, record all the tracks that I want. So I'm going to, I'll have like five tracks. And for this particular one that I'm talking about doing this Titanic song, uh, I use four tracks on that. And so, they're ready to go. And now as far as recording, I like to run a line through the output, the headphone jack at the back of the keyboard, run that to your microphone and put on your computer. At that point, it pays to have a good audio editing software, only because what I like to do then is to record each one of the tracks that I've done on the piano by themselves. So I may only, like for this one, there's a, a, a bass, a bass track that's all playing is one note at a time. And then there's and then there's a very low string very high up, and then the actual piano one. I like to record all of those tracks separately on the audio software. And for me, I'm using Adobe Audition. So I'll play all of what I've recorded on one through, then I'll do it again for two, and three, and four, and five. That way, when I bring them into the software, I can line them all up, and I can manipulate the levels of each one, it, it, fine tune them basically. Like here, they're kind of recorded. And there is, by the way, a tip here. If you've recorded something and you want to slow it down, you can just press tempo and actually adjust the speed of something you've already recorded. That's pretty cool. Um, but Volume-wise, there may be some things you want to play with a little bit here and there. And that's why I love to record all the tracks separate and then work in a program that can handle playing all the tracks simultaneously and then make little volume adjustments just to fine-tune the recording. And I will say also, if the software has a hiss removal feature, that actually comes in very handy with this. I don't know why, but this really does put out some hiss when recording uh, through the microphone of a computer. You get like a, a constant hissing sound, and so I'll just apply a hiss reduction tool and that'll just go away. So that's just a tip right there that if you have that kind of a filter, you may want to use it. But basically, yeah, that's what I like to do is just record them all separate, work with them in the computer as separate um, layers and build the song up that way. And then also what you can do is you can keep your, you know, main melody and once you've recorded them onto the computer then you can re-record over two, three, four, and five on this and add more and more and more to it and then record those in onto the computer and then overlay them again on here. You know, build it up to where you have, instead of just your five tracks and accompaniment, you have maybe 20 tracks going on once you're working with a computer. But this is, you know, straight recording them in as as basically wave files and not dealing with MIDI at all. And that is how I like to record them and how I like to work with them. And yes, you can record everything all in one shot right onto the thing as you played it is as you want it recorded and how it will play back. You can do that too. Um, especially if you don't have a, an audio software that'll let you work with all the different layers. So now that I've explained that, I'm just going to actually uh, put the song together that I was talking about, and then I'll put that on the next video.